Hi, this is Shui with a review of the Air Jordan 35 Lowe's. Uh, for 33, they had a takedown, a tech down, a downgrade. They've had zoom error or parts of the tech missing for the low cut versions. Thankfully, 34 had exactly the same amount of zoom error with the midfoot and the clip slip plate and everything, just a lower cut. The same applies to the 35. You do see this crazy thick zoom error on the heel and the forefoot. Uh, and what, what, my biggest complaint about the 35s, the mid-cut version, was that the midsole was a little bit too firm, especially on the forefoot. It felt quite rigid, especially around the toe areas yeah, where the zoom here doesn't cover the whole part. So these little parts, when your toes are like pinching forward for quick stops or turns, you felt there was a little bit of a hardness there. But for this one, even if they use the same insole, uh, there seems to be a little bit more give. Uh, the midsole feels a little bit softer on the first try, straight out of the box. Uh, the eclipse plate tend to dig into certain point parts of your foot and there were some hot spots for, for both of those. Uh, it feels less so, but then again, it feels less so. Uh, it, it depends on sometimes different colorways have like slightly different fit or slightly different density. There's there's some consistency issues every now and then, but it's only for super sensitive people like myself. If you enjoy the 35, you will enjoy the 35 lows just as much. You know, one thing different is that it's a, of a lower cut and the tongue is the same height. And I like the fact that they have a long tongue. It brings me back old memories of the old school basketball shoes from the 80s. Uh, there's this uh, added leather material just on the lateral side and not on the medial side. That's the big difference compared to the uh, normal versions. So there's a little bit more breathability and softness here and a little bit more support there. Overall, it's slightly more breathable, but other than that, it feels exactly the same. For me personally, I felt that the pinching sensations were a little bit less so, mainly because the, the midsole foam, I think, has been, has been uh, changed. But again, it depends. Uh, sometimes you get the same shoe, the same color, and sometimes they have QC quality control issues. So... Yeah, uh, fits, personally, I went half a size up. Uh, it does not feel like it's like the biggest roomier shoe out there, but there's no crazy toe box area on top, so that's good. There's no crazy pinching area on the pinky toe area. So if you like a tight, tight fit and you wear like paper thin socks or stockings, then you can go two to size, or, uh, but personally, I would go up half a size. So the main difference between this and the 35 normal mid version is this part, here, uh, the normal version had two parts, two pinching crowning areas, which gave me a lot of blisters. So those are gone. So it feels a little bit more softer and more giving on my Achilles heel. But again, you got to try it yourself because depending on your, I guess, uh, uh, on the way your, your, your Achilles or your foot is shaped, this might actually prove to be a little abrasive against you. So do try them out. Do tighten the lace loops and move around a little bit and see if you're going to have some blisters here or not. Or if you are really thick braces, that shouldn't be an issue. The Nike Air logo, which has the Jumpman logo on the other side, is just just embroidered here, just uh, stitched here instead of having this little flag out there. So if you did not like that, then you will like this. Price is pretty much the same as the normal Jordan 35. So yeah, uh, the same shoe. Lower cut, um, and a little bit more breathable. For size nine and a half, it weighs about 390 grams.